Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew. This is the Just a Guy Linux YouTube channel. So we are looking at the um, LXDM login manager. Um, this is not exactly the way it looked when we first uh, started this open box installation. Um, I've been messing around with it and I went back to more of a default setting just so that we can like um, really change it in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I wanted to mention a couple things. And one is this is not exactly the state that I left the open box in on last video. Uh, I want to show you what I've done. And that is go to the tent 2 settings. And I'm going to edit the theme just to show you, <coughs> excuse me, that the clock I changed slightly. I went with a different font. So this is not exactly the same font. I think it was Sans before or Sans Bold. Uh, so I just changed this to Mononoke Nerd font. Uh, the size of the panel has been increased as well. I'm not sure exactly. I think it might have been 30. But I knocked up the uh, panel size, or height rather, to 42. And also on the launcher, I increased the size of the icons to 32. Uh, I just thought the, it was a bit better look. So if you are following along, uh, there is some potential changes that you may want to make. Now, I'm going to close this. Now, I have deleted a directory that I had in this um, in my user directory. OK, it was the open box hyphen install directory. And it was the it was the directory that I used um, when we installed open box to begin with. It had all of the um, it had all of the the scripts that I wanted. It had this dev theme. Nordic open box and so on. So you can see 31 minutes ago, I had I changed this dev theme because I edited it for this video. Um, and I want to re uh, clone it so that we can use this dev theme uh, for the LXDM um, login manager. Okay, so I need git clone https github.com slash Drew Griff open box install. Now you don't have to do the whole thing. I just want it to, to be complete. Okay. And there it is. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and close this. And we are going to look at this open box install directory right here okay and cd into open box i did want to show you something real quick i think it's a really nice feature so when i go to i'm going to go ahead and close this just for a sec now when i go to my pc man fm some um, some file managers allow you to open a terminal with a right click uh, PC man does not do that, but if you are in like this, like I can't do a right click and then open terminal, uh, but you can, there's in the tools section, it says open folder in terminal. So you can just, if you're somewhere in your, uh, you know, if, if you're somewhere in your, one of your user directories and you hit F4, it opens up uh, your terminal for you in the correct um in the correct directory. Okay. So I want to ls again. So I'm going to copy this deb theme. And the place to put it is in a user share directory. So I'm going to show you cp, sorry, I need sudo, sudo cp dash r and then deb theme. And we're going to put it in the user share. Let me make this get this out of the way so you can see it better user share LXDM themes and we're going to copy that there 
All right. Let's go to that user themes directory just so you can see it. And there's only going to be two directories in there. And it's the main industrial as well as the, the dev theme that we just installed. Okay. So let's look inside this dev theme just so we can. Um, this wallpaper.png we're going to use, uh, it is exactly the same as this wallpaper. Okay. And then this panel. It, you'll see in a minute is a Debian um, I it's a Debian icon logo what I should say logo <clears throat> excuse me so what I'm gonna do it oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that should I have all right control plus let me go up all right and let's have actually you know what let's have two of these I'm going to say sudo, I'm going to go back to user, share, lx, dm, themes. OK, and then the other one we're going to be using is um, cd into etsy, lx, dm. And here we are. So you can, depending on which text editor, now I'm using micro as a text editor here. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Man, I can't make this a little bit more. Wow, all right, I'm not good at this at all, am I? All right, so sudo micro and then the lxdm conf directory. Okay, so there's a few things that we want to take a look at. For one, you can change this. So like, I like having the number lock on. I'm not going to put that, I'm not going to change it right now. Uh, but that's something that you may want to in the future. Uh, the bottom pane is on. So if you wanted it off, this is where you would put zero here. The theme currently is industrial. See this? This is industrial. And everything else is, you know, stable, is standard. So what we're going to do immediately is we are going to um, remove the industrial theme. And we're going to use the deb hyphen theme that we, that we just installed. Uh, I'm going to leave the panel, the, sorry, the pane on, but I'm going to go ahead and add a, another background image. And let's, oh, not, I'm going to say BG equals, and then this is in the user share, user share LXDM themes. Deb theme, and we're going to call it, what is it called? CD Deb theme. I think it's just called wallpaper, right? Yep. Wallpaper.png. Okay. Um, there might be something that we want to do as well, but I'm going to leave it for right this second. Okay. So I am done editing this, con this configuration file. So in micro, I hit Control S and Control Q. S for save, Q for quit, OK? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to exit. And there is our new login. OK, notice that it has the Debian logo here. That is something that um, that I added as well as the image of the background and the um, like I said, the bottom pane is on. Um, so this is a really good way if you want to. There are definitely other tutorials on how to uh, change the LXDM. 
but this seems like a really good one. I've looked at hours worth of uh, this stuff and I've tried a number of different um, themes as well as uh, changing the pane on and off and sometimes it breaks and sometimes it doesn't. If it breaks, let me show you. I don't know if this is going to break or not, but let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go, go ahead and I'm going to go to the uh, CD and to the Etsy LXDM. I might, I might break it. I might not. I don't know. And then uh, I'm going to sudo micro LXDM comp. And you can change your auto, to auto login, like like Drew would be here. I would just uncomment this. If you want to save yourself some hassle too, you can go session equals user bin, and then with open box, it's open box session. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn the pain off to zero. And let's leave that like that for now. Okay. Now, if this basically is saying that the uh, open box is your um, default session. And sometimes if you are messing around with this stuff and it breaks, then you're going to want to make sure that you can get back in. Uh, trust me, this is something that I think is something you should consider putting in. Um, if you are using multiple um, ways to log in, like if you have XFCE as well as Openbox and stuff like that, and then you definitely don't want to do this. But uh, if you only have the one um, manager, then, you know, window manager, then this is something that could save you some time. So Control S, Control Q. And while I'm here, I'm going to go sudo restart lxdm. Oop. Sorry, it's actually systemctl restart lxdm. Okay, see how it, it, it didn't fail, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can, uh, if you get it to fail, you get a black screen. If you hit control alt f1, it will actually put you in a terminal. So remember that Control Alt F1 puts you back in a terminal to fix something. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's restart LXDM again. And there it is. Again, the very bottom of the screen where it had your logins, uh, you may not even want that to make it a much more clean type of experience. Uh, it took out the um, which session, so open box and whatever other sessions you may have. Um, it took that out as well as language and any type of quit uh, statement was down here. If you don't want to use that, then you don't have to. You can just remove it and you have a nice clean login like this. But, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> it's completely up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this discussion today. We're only about 14 minutes in. Uh, I thought this may kind of just stand alone as it was. Uh, we're going to do a lot of work on the menu and key bindings next time. Okay. I, I can't tell you how many times I've tried a key binding to open up a terminal and it's not been there and I'm like, oh crap, I need to, I need to put in like a key binding for uh, opening up a terminal or something like that. So something to look forward to. All right. Thanks again. See you next time.